Now this is a brand new detached landed house in District 15. Property Lim Brothers is back with our brand new landed home tour series. Now if you love the ease, you want something that is brand new and uh, something that your family can move in straight on, I think you're in the right place today and uh, we have a lot of good stuff to share with you. So let's go. This shape is a little bit different, but what we think is that when we have analyzed the house itself on how it was built and designed by the architect, this is fantastic because the land plot itself is pretty unique. You have a 22 meters width, 7 meters width on the side as well, followed by 16 meters. 10, 8. In totality, you have 2756 square feet of land size, sitting on freehold land. Build up wise, you have close to about 5,600 square feet of build up. This is three and a half story. What I'm standing at is on level one. But the most interesting thing is that the moment you look out from here, you are in the pack of the action because you are so close to the Paliba Business District. Paliba Business District, as we all know, it all started with the Paliba Square Mall. That was when Paliba MRT station became the interchange and uh, the government stipulated this to be one of the business hub other than Jurong Business Hub. This has evolved into a zone where there are a lot of businesses, MNCs, relocating their businesses right here in the office space. This is also the start point of D15, so you get to enjoy a nice premium address in terms of the district. D15 is one of the most premium landed district home that a lot of people will want to have. We are located at the start point of Tanjong Katong as well. I'll bring you in first and then we'll chat more. When you come back, what you get to see is that you will head up to about five flights of steps. The reason is because the architect wanted a more elevated kind uh, of fashion when it comes to level one. So level one, you have this zone that is like a welcome area. And this is a start point of your lift and this lift will bring you up to level 2, 3 plus the attic level. So in totality, you have four different levels here. Plot size I think is pretty nice uh, because you're not overstretching towards the 6 odd 7 mil kind of range. Asking price, $6.1 million negotiable. So in totality, you can keep your home budget right within the 6 mil mark. At the same time, enjoy a free hole detach. Let me have a drink, some water. <laughs> a few moments later. In totality, you have five very good sized rooms, all are en suite, additional helper room, powder room as well for your guests. The lift, 12 meters pool, you can park two cars. This it's firstly your granny's room. It's located right on level one. You can use this as a guest room. It's nicely en suite. I want to show you this portion here. Notice that how wide the entrance is. Because of this width, you can find two nice size Mercedes or SUV. Right outside here, you can park one car because technically nobody's going to park at this zone. This is considered like your little private open parking area. The entire width of the gate is about 7.5 meters. You can walk on the left and right side towards your pool at the back, which is at 12 meters length, 1.8 meters pool width, and so that is about 1.2 meters. So we're gonna head upstairs first. Right behind us, uh, you will be familiar with Tanjong Katong because that is the zone where the landed properties and cliff will start towards the Pebble Lane, Sandy Lane, Grey Lane. Right across us, there's this project called Waterina. Waterina is fabulous, that's done by Capital Land and a lot of parents who send their kids to Konghua Primary School which is about 510 meters away. You can technically just walk to school if you live in this detached house and uh, that's a, within a one kilometer radius so it's great as well. You're staying in the freehold landed yet so close to one of the most popular schools right here. Uh, you have an old dish landed right behind us but what the architect has done is that you don't get to see the old landed neighbour which is towards this direction because basically the entire frontage of the house is towards the open view of Gilimad of Paleba. This direction leads you towards PIE if you travel backwards 
that will bring you to Nico Highway together with the indoor stadium and of course Kalang Wave Mall as well. So traveling is a breeze. I want to bring us to this start point here because from this wall all the way to the other side, that's about 14.7 meters in terms of width. And that's how wide your living room and your dining room will enjoy. Now this is fronting towards the Guillemard Road. Right opposite that, there's a small little park called the Guillemard Open Park. The open view brings in so much brightness. And of course, you might be wondering, hey, would there be road noise? What is the noise level? So this is the amount of noise level that you will hear. If you were to open up this, Definitely, you are facing towards the road facing, there will be some traffic noise. That will depend on what your preference is because some people, they love to live very close to the external part of the landed enclave in terms of transportation, driving out, there's no jam. I think the best thing is that you are just one very distinct landed plot that's situated right here at the corner of Guillemard Road. The house is done in the very modern and nice fashion. Marble flooring right on for the entire level one. We love this 14.7 meters width because you're living and dining all fronts towards this direction and it brings in so much amount of brightness that's coming not just from the front, from the side, and of course from the back of the house as well. So you really don't get neighbors looking in from the left and right side. Because even for a detached home, usually if you're in a regular land plot, your left side is another detached, your right side is also another detached. The only view that's probably a little bit more unblocked will be towards the front of your detached home because the side walls will be facing the side walls of other detached homes. But this is a little bit different. Just have a look at the front frontage. You do not see other landed houses. Uh, so even though on the right side, there's this project called the Emerald, but no units will be able to look inside your living room area because of the fact that the architect has already masked off the points that the neighbors can see and of course open up the windows that the neighbors cannot see. So I think it's a very clever design. Now, staircase is tucked right at the corner here. There's this small little balcony that you can walk out all the way right to the front. There's an L-shaped balcony. We love the way that this stairs is being done. Black framing with wood finishes and of course wooden frames with glass panels at the side of the handrails. And when you come in here, you immediately get to see your lift. Wheelchair friendly as well. This is a nice quartz top that looks a little bit like marble finishing. Very nice depth as well. This developer, they usually give very good brands and appliances. Bintec wine chiller is provided. These are all fully done with renovation at about $270,000 of renovation being pumped in a couple of months back. And that includes a lot of the built-in features. Later, you're gonna see in the bedrooms. Lightings are all done. Furnishings are all here. What you see is what you get. Everything here will be left here. If you don't like, you want to remove some items. For example, you remove this bread. Well, this is the first time I see a prop that can flip like this. It's a nice little bread. They can flip off it. <laughs> Open flame cooking right here. Nice thing. Microwave oven from Mille plus a conventional oven at the bottom. Ample tabletop space right at this corner. Plugs are all done. Racks uh, after you have washed your dishes. Loads of storage. As you come back here, you can put in three high stools here at this direction. Of course, this dining space can go up to 10 seater easily. Now, all this are done for you. So the nice TV console panel with some storage display shelf because this is a textured wallpaper that's nicely done. And importantly is that you have this powder room that's hidden here, all done with marble flooring, wall tiles all done with marble finishing, nice ventilation window as well. When we come to level three, master, fantastic in size. You have sliding panel door, safety glass with rails as well. All nice modern concept with black frames. King bed is done here. Headboard, designer finishing right at the backrest. The side tables are all done here. Dressing table is done. This is what you get when you buy the home. You get marble flooring, his and her sink into your master on suite. Of course, a nice bravat. Long bath as well with rain shower at the standing shower portion. And then you have a second bedroom here. So you have a nice L panel, four door wardrobe at the side. Bathroom wise, standing shower portion, nice width, nice depth. These are all nicely planned. 
And then of course, if you come here, there's this very interesting latch that you can flush it with your own plants at home, just to beautify the entire place. So notice that because of this grand kind of concept, uh, all the way from level one, you're gonna put in this nice chandelier over here, designer lights. Of course, that brings in a lot of light from the long windows right at the corner. So we wanna head upstairs. Perhaps we should take the lift, okay. So although it's one level, I want to test the lift. This is a platform lift. Platform lift means you have to press and hold. So let me test it out for you and then you can experience it. I'm gonna bring you upstairs, come on in. Okay, so platform lift. So you close the door, make sure it's safe, press and hold. And then you will heat up. And then we're going up to level four. Take note, when you buy a house with a lift, you do have to maintain it with a proper lift inspection company. They come once a year to certify the safety. There's also payment for lift permit as well. So set aside some money for that. The most important thing is that the lift is a future proof for the home. When you have a lift, your parents, even yourself as we age, uh, you know that there's a lift. So you don't have to worry about living in level two, three or level attic level so basically all rooms are accessible it's also wheelchair friendly and i think it's a nice thing to have now so the moment you come in here this is bedroom number four now the room size is great three panel wardrobe on this side and as you come here the fifth room which is also great in size we like all this full panel plus small little planter balcony box outside so you can step out for a little bit of fresh air. Now fun facts number one. Now take note that when you want to build a lift within a house that has no lift previously, the most important thing is that when you go for viewing, always ask where is the dedicated lift provision. Now of course the easiest way to verify that is that after you view the home for the first time, get the BCA plan, pass that on to your architect ask them where is the provision that is suitable to build a lift. Now, usually a lift is about $100,000. But of course, the most important thing is you on top of the $100,000 for the lift, depending on what kind of lift you're getting, whether it's your platform lift, hydraulic lift and stuff like that. The important thing is to know what is the cost of submission to BCA to get approval. And of course, on A and A, because some different levels, you need A and A to be done to have entryway for the lift itself. So all in, I think plus set aside about $150,000. Um, sometimes it might go up to $200,000 depending on the complexity uh, to build and position the lift. This land plot, you get this angle here, is all flush at the corner of the house where the staircase is being located. So you don't feel it and that is what we mean by very nice and clever design so that you can't feel that there's an irregular plot size. Even this staircase is like straight on, flush, and just like the way that you feel when you come down here, nicely escalating upwards towards the top level. So the more you come down, you're gonna see, wow, your dining and living is so beautiful. Cassette Lacon, Mitsubishi Electric for the living and dining space. This is an L-shape, nice size six-seater. You can go up to an eight-seater. I think you can push to a ten-seater as well. I love the fact that it's so bright. I can open up all the glass panel. And yet, at the same time, there's still safety railing right within. So a lot of small little details are all taken care of. Most importantly, I don't have to spend time to re-renovate. I don't have to spend time to redesign, rebuild. Everything is here. It's almost plug and play. Last but not least, I haven't shown you the pool area and of course a little bit of garden space at the bottom. So follow me. You have a nice area here for you to jump into the pool. It's a nice area here. You can put in some sun decks over here. Put in your floats right here for your kids to play. Walls are high because uh, remember at the front there is the elevated portion. So even the side walls are all high. So anyone that's walking outside, they cannot look into your house. So your privacy is here. So, this side of the house, nice gardening features are all done. 
Alright, so welcome to the end of this Lander Home Tour. Thank you for staying throughout with us. And of course, if you love to live in D15, you want something that's brand new, freehold status, most importantly, nice quantum that's within the $6 million mark for something that's brand new with five bedrooms, a pool right on within your house, lift, six bath plus a powder room, you get three and a half story, fully built up, nice furnishings, renovation already done for you. So give us a call if you want to have a look at this house. The link is right down below. Contact our PLB landed team. We'll be very happy to show the place. And uh, once again, my name is Melvin Lim. As always, we're happy to show the place. So take care. So where that? There's a thief there. See, there's a thief. <laughs> Somebody's hiding there behind the tree. If you quarrel with your wife, this might be the place that you will be in. You're 19. Oh man, 995. Well, that's what I think. Sack 2. Sack 2, then she'll spawn. This is an exercise, man. I think I fulfilled my steps. <laughs> my rings are half. Oh my goodness. My rings. <laughs>